So we're going to hit on caution output for the next couple of videos and let's get started. So each and every firm have some kind of critical decisions they always they must make. Each firm has to decide how much they want to produce, how many people to employ and how much and what type of capital equipment to use. Now the first thing we want to look at is decision time frames and this pretty much uh, what we want to know is, or what you guys got to know is, a firm makes their decisions just to achieve its main objective. And that main objective is always profit maximization. Some decisions may include um, decisions that are critical to the survival of the firm, uh, decisions that are irreversible or costly to reverse, or some decisions that are uh, easily reversed and less critical to a firm's survival. Now, we can place all decisions in uh, two time frames, and that's short run and long run. Now, short run is pretty much like a burst in time, so you could think that uh, six months or three, or three months, those are short runs. Now, for long runs, uh, you can think that they are uh, like... Uh, time frames that spans a year or two years or even more. So short run is the time frame in which the quantity of one resource, one or more resources used in production is fixed. For example, that can be capital, the firm's plant, uh, those are fixed capital in the short run because we can't just up and leave from our office. That is a, that is a fixed cost in the short run because uh, if you have a big company it can't move in like three months if you give it like five years then it could, it could probably move and that's uh, that's the difference between short run and long run now other resources like labor raw material can be made in the short run because if you have labor you could just fire the guy in like a, in like an, within the hour but uh, short and short runs are easily short run decisions are easily reversible <laughs> Now, the long run, it's pretty much, yeah, like I said, it's a time frame in which the quantity of all resources, including plant size, can be varied. Now, long run decisions are not easily reversed, and it could even be irreversible, and they're usually very costly. Now, when we're talking about short run or long run, you have to know the concept of sunk costs. Some cost is really simple. It's pretty much the cost incurred by the firm and cannot be changed. So we have a coffee machine, and this is bought in the past, and no one ha and it has no resale value. The amount paid for it is a sum cost. Pen. It's a sum cost. So some costs are irrelevant to current decisions and some people or many people get hung up on it because they don't want to be wrong. But uh, the reality is it's some costs and you got to forget about it. So short run technology constraint to increase the output of, in the short run, the firm must increase the amount of labor employed. There are three concepts that explains the relationship between output and the quantity of labor employed. They are total product, marginal product, and average product. Now, total product is, means exactly uh, what it uh, what it is named after. Uh, it's t the total output produced in a given period. Marginal product is a change in total product resulting from a one unit increase in quantity of labor, and of in, in quantity of labor employed, and everything else being the same. Average product of labor is pretty much total product divided by the quantity of labor employed. <coughs> so now we have this table and I'm just going to take a little bit of time and describe it. So as the quantity of labor, uh, labor employed increases from 0 to 1, then you can see that the, the total product also increases. And as we go down, as we increase the number of our workers, then you can see that our total product also increases. Now, uh, let's take a look at marginal product and some look at the concept behind that. So what marginal product pretty much means is uh, a one unit increase 
uh, in quantity of labor employed uh, will result in a change in total product. So let's just do this example to make it more clear. So on marginal product, when we have uh, zero labor and zero, to, uh, zero labor is of course zero because we're making nothing. But if we increase our labor to, uh, to one, then the marginal product, uh, the increase in the products we make is four because we went from zero to four. <laughs> now, uh, let's look at what happens if we add one more. We have two workers. Then that increase is six because we take four and then we go to 10 total product and the difference between that is six. And um, yeah, let's do one more. Let's go from two to three. From two to three, uh, we go from 10 to, to three or 10 to 13, and that's a marginal product of three. And I'm just gonna fill these out, two and one. So the change in total product, you can see that our, our uh, total product increase. It always increases when we add more labor, but our marginal product, it only uh, showed the increase up to a certain point, and from that point on, it's, it decreased. So this is what we call the diminishing marginal returns or diminishing marginal product. Uh, whatever your professor wants to call it, but that's the idea behind that. We only get, um, we only do well up to a certain point, and from that point on, um, the the value that one more one more worker adds uh, is less than uh, is less than the value that the last worker added. So there is an optimization point, and for us, the optimization point is right here when when um when at two workers because if you add one more worker then uh, the value that that worker at that worker adds is three and average product uh pretty much uh it increases initially but eventually decreases and as you can see it pretty much follows the follows the trend that is set by marginal product we increase up to a certain optimal point and from that point on we decrease. So next, let's talk about product curves. Well, actually, let's talk about it in the next video. For now, I'll end this video and let you absorb what we talked about. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.